A lot of times you're going to have to change this sleeve. Sometimes you want to do that just for drill or for one reason or another. Uh, on some pumps, the sleeves are sweated on. On some pumps, they are O-ringed on. On some pumps, they are Loctited on. If it's Loctite, you heat it and it will come off. You generally have to find something to wedge into the back to flip that off. If it's O-ringed on, they should come off. Some of them are siliconed on. Those also should come right off. This one is sweated on, and that's the one that causes the most problem. I'm going to show you how to get that off. With one that's sweated on, what we're going to do is we're going to make a line down it, and then we're going to make another line down it, and that will expand it enough where it should come off. Now, to be, when you're going to tap on this, and I use the word tap, uh, you want to support this shaft because when you hit this, you're hitting the bearings. You don't want to mess up the motor bearings if you're going to reuse the motor. So we're going to take our chisel, make a line down that shaft, couple of lines already. Got this started. You can see that that pulls off. Not super easy, but it's doable. Once that is off, you can see I've made a few lines. Hopefully you can see that around that which expands the circumference of that makes it a little bit bigger so it will pull off we are now going to put the another sleeve back on this again as I said is one of the types that you have to sweat on the type that are loctited not really hard to do the type that have an o-ring not hard to do either these are a bit tricky I'm going to show you how to do it first you want to make sure there is nothing to impede the progress of that down now we've got a little bit of uh, scarring right here from apparently from me pounding on it so I'm gonna turn off and I'll be right back okay we've got our new sleeve that we're gonna put on here again this is one of the ones that sweated on uh, the ones that are Loctited on will slip on with the Loctite that will hold the water the ones that are o-ringed on will either slip down on an o-ring or have an o-ring internal or an o-ring at the top those are pretty easy these ones that are sweated on are a little harder to do so the first thing we're gonna do is make sure this is clean and burr free we're going to make sure the inside of this is clean and burr free you'll notice that I hope you can notice there's a beveled side to that and a flat side I like the flat side up toward the impeller we're going to put that on there and cock it to one side so that it cannot fall on its own then we are going to heat this thing starting at the top not want this to fall until it is really hot because it will stick. Turn this and get the heat all the way around it. We're going to want to make this change colors. We do not want to heat the shaft. We want to heat because the shaft will expand. We just want to heat the sleeve. Now, I've done this in a little while. Hopefully it won't stick. If it does stick, we'll get to show you what to do with the does stick. You can see that thing starting to want to creep. Okay, it fell right down there, as you can see. Um, but you want to start at the top, work your heat down, really major at the top. You want the top to be changing colors before you start moving down. If, and I'm not going to touch that right now, but if it's up there and you get it good and hot, take your screwdriver and tinkle it a little bit and it should go down. If it does not go down, if it stops, you're going to use the sleeve that you damaged getting off to put on top of this and tap it down. But keep the heat on it. Don't let it cool off. Keep the heat on it. Have the sleeve ready. Have a tap and hammer ready in case it sticks so you can put that on there. You want to use something brass so it doesn't mess up this top edge of the uh, sleeve while you're doing it. 